ready Cause this ain't funny My name, fame is Ian I'm about to make money me again, Amy from the Zula Mercantile, and today is going to be another sorceress video. I found some really great things this weekend, even though there is snow on the ground currently, and yard sales I think are sadly done for the season, but there are still estate sales to hit. Uh, thrift stores, we always go to the Goodwill bins, so I'm not worried about finding inventory over the winter. It just might not be as fun as those yard sales, but I still find some good things. So, the first estate sale that I went to did. <laughs> did have some of these. Look at this face. I can't even have the words for these dolls. Look. My hero thinks that they actually have the same face, just painted differently, whether they be male or female. But I think they are a little different. But um, it's rare that you find um, seasoned citizens uh, in a porcelain doll. So I couldn't resist these guys. Uh, each of the dolls was actually only $3.45. I got these two. They're both full body. Um, they do have porcelain feet and hands as well. And then this other old dude, and he's got a beard and everything. Um, <laughs> I guess the lady uh, that passed away, she was a doll maker. So uh, this was all that was left. Unfortunately, I missed out on some other doll parts and things that I definitely would have purchased. I like doing weird dolls. Um, but I got these and I do like them. This guy, especially, uh, he's like, a um, an elf maybe, or a, uh, a hobbit. His feet are really big and he, I have his arms as well. So he's pretty cute. Um, like I said, uh, each of them were $3 and 45 cents each. I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to price them since they are originals. Uh, she made the molds and everything. So there is not another one like these particular dolls out there. Um, but I did see that in general, um, elderly or senior citizen dolls, they do go for $25 and up. So that's what I will shoot for as well. Next up is a little piece of electronics here. This is a, it's the Cano Scan 9000 F Mark II. And I picked that up for, it, that box is empty. I'm not really that strong, but I picked it up for just $15. And that one, um, the comps are really good on it. I have the original box. I have the paperwork, the disc, the cords, everything. And we did test it out. It works great. Um, so I think I could probably get $200 or maybe even more for that one. So definitely take a look at scanners. Um, when you're at the sale, you can't really try it out as far as scanning something in, but you can always plug it in, make sure the lights come on, make sure the thing moves across on the scanning bed. Um, those would be great indicators that it works well. And also, of course, make sure it's it looks clean and like, you know, there's no uh, damage to it as far as like it hasn't been dropped or anything. So keep your eye out for scanners. I've had great luck with them in the past. Hopefully this one will do me right as well. Now I did get two clothing items. These are vintage Catalina. I, it's so pretty. Just look at the knit on that. Um, they're both jacquard knit cardigan sweaters. And these were just five dollars each. I just love the patterns on them. They're just so nice and no no holes. All the buttons are there. These are in great shape. I paid five dollars each for those. Uh, looks like from the comps that you'll see over here um, could be forty eight dollars, could be twenty two dollars. Um, either way though I think they'll sell and I will make some money on it. Hopefully I'll get up into the higher range on those. And at that same sale they had these real pretty vintage flatware. You know I like that. Um, the brand on these is Orleans, which I don't see as often. Um, it says Orleans Silver Stainless Japan. Um, they have a nice weight to them. I did like the pattern. It was just $3 for these five, uh, another six, six forks. And I think I can probably get $20 for them. Um, some similar Orleans, a lot of eight spoons just recently sold for 24. So I'll just shoot for between 20 and 24. We'll see what happens with those. All right, now my hero went with me in a couple of sales and he, you know, he's, He's my tech guy, so uh, he did find these. Uh, it's a pack of writable, these are writable DVDs, so you can put a movie on them. Brand new, sealed, it's a 50 pack. These are the TDK DVD-R recordable. <laughs> like I said, new and sealed in their package. They were just $1.50, and I can probably get $20 for these. But then right next to it was this gem here. These have, you can see right here, it says light scribe. And that actually is, um, it's a harder thing to find. People really like these. Uh, you can actually, 
if I can, <laughs> how to explain that. Um, a laser will create an image on the disc itself. So when you're burning a disc for somebody, you can uh, do a graphic on the top as well. That's, that's what it is. Uh, so these are Memorex LightScribe CDR. And again, it's a 50 pack. And believe it or not, this pack that I got for $1.50, uh, it last sold for $90 just recently. So I am also going to shoot for that. That might be um, the find of the weekend. So thank you, Hero. Okay, so this next thing here um, is a few different items actually, but this was <laughs> it's something new for me and it's something I'm excited to try. Um, but I'm getting into the world of supplements, I guess. I found a box, you'll see a picture of it over here, um, where each of the supplements was a dollar each. And I started pulling them out and looking them up and they have really great comps. So uh, we pulled out all the ones that were sealed. You can see on the top, maybe it'll focus it on that. They have the plastic seal around them and then all the expiration dates. Um, these are January of 25. And um, I made sure that all of them, the most recent expiration date that I purchased was July of 24. So I think I'm gonna be okay as far as expirations. A lot of them were 2025 as well. I bought 32 bottles of, di of the different types um, and we're gonna go through them now each um, because this one's kind of, it has an exciting return on it. So as I said, I got 32. So that means I spent $32. The first one here is by Mindful Wellness and it is called Brain Savior. And that one, this one actually goes for $25 a bottle. And then what I also found was that the sell-through rate on all of these was really good. Like there's only a few listed with 20 sold, um, that kind of balance to it. So I really, I think these are gonna, these are gonna be good. The next one is, it's called Reawaken. And that one is also by Mindful Nutrition. Um, and the Reawaken, I have seven of these. Um, just last week, a two pack of these sold for $30. And I'm not sure yet if I'll do them all individual and just have multiple quantities available, um, or maybe I'll lot them together. We'll see, I'll decide it on the fly as I'm listing them. Uh, the next one is Advanced Biohealth Neurodrine. And that one, um, I have two bottles of these and they go for $40 each. And the next one here is Living Well Nutris, <laughs> Living Well Nutraceuticals Heal and Soothe systemic enzyme formula uh these let's see that one uh, okay I have five of these and they go for 30 to 40 dollars a bottle next up we have this pure health research fungus eliminator fungus elater and that one i have two bottles and that one goes for 30 to 40 dollars as well and then the last one i have four containers of this lean belly juice and these go for $40 each. So, um, oh, that one's by Icaria. And uh, yeah, so I have four of those. And again, sealed. Expiration dates are good. Make sure you check that out because you can't, if it's already been opened or if it's expired, you cannot sell that on eBay to my knowledge. And uh, I don't think you'd want to either because that would just invite some customer complaints for that. Uh, so what I did was I added it all up. Again, I told you I spent $32 on the box full. And when I add up all those numbers, uh, it looks like I have a potential profit on those bottles of supplements for of $890. So I'm excited to get those listed. I think I'm going to photograph them right after I get off of here with you. So, um, get those listed right away. Um, people can start ordering them hopefully soon. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Keep your eye out for supplements. And again, make sure you check that they are sealed and that they are not expired and that they're not going to expire really soon either. I did leave some behind that um, were expiring in January and February of next year. And I just thought that's just not enough time for me to list them, sell them, and then for someone to be able to use them up as well. So I did leave some behind because of that. All right, so I think that was the winner of the weekend's finds. But I have one more thing. I went to the strangest sale uh, it was a house where there was a whole bedroom set up as a closet and it was full of Lululemon, Athleta, and um, like all kinds of other you know, Adidas and, and Gap Fit and all fitness things. And it was just lined and everything was so expensive. I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to buy anything, but I was looking in the lower brand racks and for some reason they had this Lululemon jacket in the lesser brand area and it was only ten dollars so i picked it up um maybe even just kind of out of desperation <laughs> because i wanted to buy something at that sale uh so i did <laughs> i spent ten dollars 
And um, this is the If You're Lucky jacket. On the back, it has a mesh panel. It's very cute. Um, it's a little bit on the smaller side too, but hopefully that one will do me right. Um, looks like one sold recently for 38 and also one sold recently for 72. So it could go either way on that. Um, I mean, at least I got something. I went all that distance to go to that sale. So um, you know how that goes. You kind of feel like, oh, I want to buy something because I made it all the way here. So that wraps it up for all my finds for the weekend. Um, it was kind of a light one, but that happens sometimes. So I hope you went out this weekend and I hope you found some great things. And I'm going to see you on the next video because right now I'm going to go and I'm going to get these listed. So if you want some, let me know. We'll see you next time.